Good evening everyone. Now I am going to explain about implementation of shift reduce parser with an example. So what is meant by shift reduce parser? Shift reduce parsing is a process of reducing string to the start symbol of the grammar. Shift reduce parsing uses a stack to hold the grammar and an input tape to hold the string. Shift reduce parsing performs two actions, shift and reduce. That's why it is known as shift reduce parsing. At the shift action, the current symbol in the input string is pushed to the stack. At each reduction, RHS of the production rule is popped out of the stack and an LHS of the production rule is pushed into the stack. At the end, if the only start symbol is present in the stack and input buffer is empty, then the parsing action is called accept. When action accepted is done, it means passing is successfully done. So the grammar we are going to use for our example is as simple as 0 as 0, as simple as 1 as 1 and as simple as 2. So coming to the code, this function check is used to check whether the whether there are any production rules that are to be replaced in the stack. This for loop is used to check whether there is production rule sm plus 2 in the stack or not. And this for loop is used to check for the production rule sm plus 0 as 0. And similarly this for loop is used to check for the production rule sm plus 1 as 1. So coming to the main function, this is the grammar we are going to use. And this is where the input is taken from the user. And this for loop runs until the length of the string, printing the action performed pushing into the stack, moving the pointer and actions performed. This check is used to check and replace the production rules in the stack. And this check function is called here again for rechecking for the last time. If there are any production rules that are missed, they will be replaced again. So in the end, if S is remaining in the top of the stack, then the string will be accepted. If S is not there in the stop of the stack, then the string will be rejected. So let's run the code and see. And the input string we are taking here is 10201. As you see, the string is accepted. So let's see how it is accepted. The production rules we used are as simple as 0 as 0, as simple as 1 as 1, and as simple as 2. And the input string we used is 10201. And this is the output we got. The string is accepted. In the beginning, the stack is empty. The input string is 10201. So the first action performed is shift. So the one is pushed into the stack. And the input string is 0201. And again, the shift action is performed, pushing stack and pushing zero into stack. So the input buffer is having 201 and again the shift action is performed. 2 is pushed into the stack. As you see from the third production rule, this 2 can be replaced by S. So the action performed is reduced to S plus 2. So this 2 is replaced by S. So the stack is having values 1, 0, S and input buffer is having 0, 1. And the shift action is performed and the 0 is pushed into the stack. As you see, this 0 is 0 can be replaced by S using the first production rule. So, reduce operation is done. Reduce to S implies 0 is 0. So, this 0 is 0 is replaced by S. So, the stack is having 1S and input buffer is having 1. The shift action is performed again. This 1 is pushed into the stack and this 1S1 can be replaced by S by using the second production rule. So, reduced to S simple as 1S1 action is performed and 1S1 is replaced by S. According to the definition, if only start symbol is present in the stack and the input buffer is empty, then the action performed is accept. See, S is the start state, it is the only thing present in the stack and input buffer is empty. So, the string is accepted. When accepted action is obtained, it means 
passing is successfully done. This means our string is accepted. So this is how shift reduce parser is implemented. Thank you.